Hi, welcome to the Autodesk Inventor Tooling and Plastic Part Design course. Here we focus on plastic design and injection molds. To begin the course off, we're going to be taking a look at the plastic part design tools that ship with Autodesk Inventor 2015. We're going to be looking at tools such as grill, rest, lip, boss, snap fit, as well as rule fillet, just to name a few. So here we have a completed plastic part with a lot of those tools built in. And really the focus here is on hastening the process. So this grill on the bottom isn't something that you couldn't create with normal traditional modeling tools, but it's very tedious and it takes a long time where with the grill command, we can do it all at once very quickly. After talking about plastic part design features, we'll move into talking about creating cores and cavities that will go into an injection mold. So here we have a core and cavity system. It has two different sides here. We have the core and cavity side, and we have the family mold going on where we have two of them. We also have a runner that's actually feeding the system and gates that will also feed the material directly into our core and cavity to create our moldable part. We'll take a look here at how to create different materials from the mold flow database. Inside of Autodesk Inventor, there is over 8,000 plastic libraries available to us when we are using the tooling environment. We will see how to control shrinkage as well as controlling the fill analysis and really identifying to make sure that we have a quality of fill. We can look at weld lines as well as air pockets. We'll also see how to create core pins and inserts to make our manufacturing of the core and cavity a little bit easier on us. After we finish the core and cavity, we're going to see how to create the mold around the core and cavity. So we're going to basically place in from Content Center any number of different mold bases that we would like to have. We're also going to add in different things like ejectors, sliders, lifters, lock sets, sprue bushings, and locating rings to make our mold design process that much faster. We're also going to take a look at the automatic drawing creation tools, which will hasten the process of documentation to get our mold out the door faster. Lastly, we'll look at different mold analysis tools, such as how to look at the entire mold in general instead of just the individual part process. So if I did a part fill analysis on any one of these three parts we see here, it's going to be different for each one of them technically. I'd like to kind of see how it looks like in the entire process of the feed system coming down through the sprue, into the cold well and the runners, into the gates, and then into my parts. And we can animate these results as well if we need to show somebody the actual process at which things are going. So here with the plastic flow selected, I'm simply going to animate these results. So here I'll play that. You'll see the material flow into the design. Now, other things we can analyze instead of just part fill analysis, as well as the mold fill analysis, we can do the plastic flow, which you just saw. We can do fill time. We can do confidence of fill, quality prediction. We can even look at air traps and weld lines. Now, anyone that's done plastic design work knows that weld lines can be very troublesome for you if you're not careful, because they end up being areas where you might have a lot of fracture. So let's take a look at those. So here's our weld lines that we would have for this design. And you can see as the plastic would have flowed in there, as it connects into these bridges here, the ends of the parts, we're going to have possible weld line issues there, depending on how we fill our mold, at what temperature, at what heat, and what injection time. These are just some of the things we're going to look at throughout this course.